Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I'm Shotlike. This is the first qualifying round. This is the game between Mosquera and Okonostuta. Mosquera is financial and organized. Colombia starts with agriculture and hunting. Okonostuta is aggressive and protective. And the Cherokee starts with fishing and agriculture. These are the starting positions. And oh my. They start on a very small continent. This is the starting position of Mosquera with some fish. There is another fish. There is a river down here, but there is coal and there is ivory and uh, copper up here. However, the starting position of Konostuta is just over here next to one, two, three sources of clams contesting the copper and the ivory, which should go to Konostuta. We also have sugar, there is some clams and some fish over here. The starting continent is pretty small, but they do have access via coastlines to all of this up here and down here and down here and over here. So they should be able to settle a lot of this land, even though the, it's not the starting continent. However, let's see how the game uh, turns out. Uh, let's get it uh, going. Off we go, Mosquera versus Okonos Dota in the first qualifying round. Let's see. Okonos Dota is pleased with Mosquera for the start. Mosquera is in Buddhism, Okonos Dota in Hinduism. Coming up to 40, Mosquera is first to second city. Two cities to one. And that is the way it is at the moment. Okonos Dota doesn't seem to be building more cities at the moment. So when will he get it? Three cities to one. Ah, there Okonostota got the second city at the very least. And Mosquera has gone to the continent down south. Over 100, turn 110. Three cities each at the moment now then. So they are equal in that department. And Mosquera is uh, actually approximately the same. A little bit weaker than Okonostota at the moment. Four cities each. Turn 127, 128. And now things are happening, are there? Four cities each, different religions, still Okonostota is uh, pleased with uh, Mosquera. And they are expanding into the continents, both to the south and also there Okonostota got that all the way to the southeast. So six cities for Okonostota now. Seven cities, seven to four is a great advantage this early, turn 161, seven to four and he has a little bit more score as well, seven to five now as Mosquera settles another one out in the west, but Okonostuta goes down in the west as well into the south, nine cities to six, ten cities to six now, Okonostuta is expanding better than Mosquera at the moment, eleven cities to seven. They are equal in strength. Mosquera is going civil service while Okonostota is getting feudalism. 11 cities to 9 at the moment. Turn 203, 204. And the islands are being settled. And now it's a matter of who's got the most land and who's got the most will to make this happen. They could, of course, go astronomy. Okonostota goes compass already. Let's see if he does that. No, yeah, optics. Okonostota goes optics at the moment. Will he go astronomy as well? Not at the moment. Mosquera on education. Okonostota on to music. 12 cities to 10. And philosophy next 10. Now optics for Mosquera. And astronomy. Mosquera has started to go towards astronomy. While Okonostota gets banking. 12 cities to 10. Okonostota also on astronomy, so both of them are getting it at approximately the same time, but there it is over and Mosquera has won the diplomatic victory, turn 258, 1740 AD, congratulations, Mosquera going through to the next round. In our time, no wars and Mosquera won the diplomatic victory, 1740 turn 258. Let's go exit and here look at the graphs. We see Mosquera is the yellow and Okonostuta is the green. 
This is the score, this is the G and P, the manufacturing, the food, the power, the culture, and then the espionage. The numbers then, demographics, with Mosquera to the left, to Konostota to the right, we see there is uh, pretty even a uh, little bit of a difference, not that much. Top 6 cities and wonders then. 1, 2, 3 wonders in the BC era, the rest in the ADs. We see Okonostota with the number 1 city, Mosquera with the number 2 and number 3. Okonostota has the 4th and the 5th and the 6th. Statistics. Mosquera, 10 cities built, 4 legions, 1 golden age currently on 18 windmills, 9 mines and 6 cottages. He did build in his cities 10 lighthouses, 8 theaters and Granaries, one academy, let's go page down and see one, uh, the great lighthouse at the bottom of the list. Current units for Mosquera then. Let's go to the top. 26 longbowmen, 10 macemen, 6 workers down to one crossbowman. He drained a total of 18 longbowmen, 10 settlers, 8 archers down to one great prophet. And the kills, zero and the losses. Zero. Then Okonos Tutas numbers. 12 cities built, 3 religions, 1 golden age currently on 22 mines, 11 fishing boats and 7 cottages he did build in the cities. 12 granaries and lighthouses, 10 barracks, 1 the Sistine Chapel page down and we see Stonehenge at the bottom of the list. Current units for Okonos Tutadan. 20 longbowmen, 11 macemen, 9 workers down to 1 horse archers. He trained a total of 23 galleys, 22 archers, 12 axemen and workboats down to 1 Ayas Digi. Then the kills, let's confirm them to be 0 and the losses to be 0. Time for the victory condition screen. Pretty even numbers here, with the exception of Konostota with a lot more population, 62%. Mosquera built the Apostolic Palace and won the game. Uh, that also means if we go here and Diplo Victory, Konostota, he had a positive 3 and he was pleased and that was enough to vote for his opponent with his 3 votes. Okay, uh, that's it. Let's go take a look at the cities. Mosquera with 10 cities then. Sort by population, Bogota, Medellin, Soledad, the top city cities with pop 9 and we see the list they are happy healthy uh, decent -ish space commerce uh, low uh, production let's go exit and take a look at the cities of Konostuta then uh, one moment to Konostuta okay he has 12 cities let's go here and sort by population and see Kituva Great Hivasa 15 and 14 pops respectively Chuta on 13 they are also happy healthy base uh, commerce is decent production is low congratulations then Mosquera with the, the Diplo win going through to the second qualifying round the next game up is Murcilis the second versus Jingu I hope to see you back for that one I am shot like this has been the Noble Leaders Cup goodbye for now